Hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome here. Thank you very much for all of your kindness, all of your love, all of your support, your wonderful comments and your generous donations. I'm very, very grateful to all of you. Uh, the name of today's reading is What's next in this connection, in this relationship? Uh, what does the future has in store for the two of you? Let's see. I've got three puzzle cards for you to choose from. I will answer the picture in a second. Please take your time, listen to your intuition, and then choose a pile that resonates with you the most. And while watching, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest for others. Mm -hmm. Let's see the cards. Hello my beautiful pile number one or everyone who chose the green aventurine. Let's see what's next in this connection. We are opening the region with the six of cups. Conversation. The knight of wands. Doctor. Eight of swords and service mm -hmm. pile one it feels like there was a it's either a reconciliation that has happened very recently in this connection or it's just uh, it feels like something very comfortable very filled with beautiful emotions with the six of cups and conversation it feels like whenever you communicate whenever, whenever you interact with each other, emotions flow, you understand each other, you get each other. Uh, it feels like talking to somebody that you have known for 100 years, someone that's so similar to you. And I don't want to say that word. Well, looking at this twin voice, I still don't like the twin flame labels, but it does feel like this person is very similar to you, the person you're thinking about. Um, like a reflection of you in many ways you reflect each other and I feel like when you talk you speak the same language regardless whether you uh, even if you, you are from different cultures you speak initially your native languages are different or if you speak the same language you metaphorically just on the same wavelength you are speaking the same language you completely understand each other uh, there is a lot of empathy here a lot of kindness gentleness um, childlike, innocent love, this is what I feel. Maybe the way you communicate, it's a little bit strange even for other people, because when you do, it's, it's very soft, it's very um, um, tender and um, not harsh at all, not practical, not um, rigid. It's just your communication flows. It feels like catching up. It's almost like maybe even when you just met with this person, it felt like you were catching up after you got separated. Very interesting. Yeah, catching up where you left off. The conversation, the um, union, this connection. Very nice, cozy feeling. There is a lot of love here. I'm not gonna lie. There is a lot of love and emotional attachment to each other. Especially something about your interaction together, it's not so much like a physical, passionate thing, it's bigger, it's deeper, I should, I should say probably. It's more like um, soul level. With the Six of Cups, it's always the energy of soulmates to me, or at least past life, love. Someone who just understands you because they know you on a soul level. Somehow you reflect to them something familiar. Maybe you even remind each other of yourself. Like, <laughs> Mercury retrograde, they have to speak more clearly. Extra effort here. Whenever you speak, it's almost like you are showing, you see in the other yourself. You see yourself in the other. Oh my gosh. But yes, there is a lot, a lot of love, a lot of kindness and communications between you. It feels like it's healing. When you talk to each other, it's healing. It's uh, it's like coming back home, meeting an old friend. But even deeper than that, so beautiful. That's your past. That's what I'm seeing here. 
very innocent, open-hearted, open-handed, childlike love, and very deep soul level understanding of each other. What's going on currently between the two of you? We've got the Knight of Wands and Doctor. Um, there is some sort of change happening, like very quick, uh, sudden, unexpected change or movement in this connection, change in this, uh, in the dynamic of this connection. There is a lot of passion, of course, <laughs> with the Knight of Wands, it's fiery energy, it's passion, it's almost like now or never, it feels to me. Or um, I have to rush, I have to make um, a move fast or something like that. It's almost like you have both healed on many levels. Previously, there was a lot of healing that took place, personal healing for the both of you. And now uh, I feel like one or both of you is acting or like rushing towards the other or um, coming in a very blunt, fiery way. Yeah. There is a lot of attraction here. The Knight of Wands is the person who follows their instinct, who follows their desire and um, passion. Yeah, it's all about passion here. But it's, it feels to me like something had to be healed before this could take place, before. It could be the circumstances in, in life, but mostly I feel like internal healing, something inside had to be healed first. Maybe some wounds from the past, some resentment, some hurt. And now it's just go, go, go with this Knight of Wands. If it didn't happen yet, it's about to happen or it's, uh, the impulse is there. But I do feel like someone is coming forward here, definitely. I, I, it's obvious, like someone is expressing something here, for sure, in a very, in a very passionate way, not like subtly. <laughs> This is not subtle energy. The future of this connection, what's in store for this connection? With the Eight of Swords, something is keeping you stuck. Either one of you or both of you, something, some circumstances, some situation or situationship is keeping you stuck. Mm. It's all about help, it's all about serving somehow. How do I put this energy into words even? It's almost like you can't make a decision just yet because something is not... Uh, you can't act to, towards it, you can't um, move in this relationship, in this connection. The Eight of Swords is restrictions. It could be circumstances, acting as a restriction in your life in this connection or your mental energy, your thoughts, your restrictive thoughts and fears and blockages in your mind. No, I can't. No, I shouldn't. No, it's not right. And something, it has something to do with helping either the lack of help, either the lack of, lack of support. This is so strange. I'm sure we'll get clarification from the Oracle cards, but what am I feeling here? It's almost like refusing, refusing to go to extend your energy to another. One of you is refusing to extend your energy to another because you, it's almost like you don't have enough uh, energy, time, and most most of all, intention. It's almost like I can't go back into this. I can't start giving into this anymore. I can't... Um, it could be fears. It could be fears of one of you. I. It would be a bad idea if, you, if I started giving to it, if I started sharing my love, my energy, my time with this person who just uh, rushed into m my life out of nowhere spontaneously with all of their passion. I don't know if I have enough um, to give them anymore. It's, it feels like someone here has built really thick walls around them. You should know better who it is, but 
there is no um it's almost like there is not enough determination or not enough trust in the situation to start start giving to it again to start um, helping the other person pulling them out of whatever situation that they're stuck in um, um providing them with your energy your support your love your kindness your loyalty it's almost like i, I i'm not a lot of overthinking here a lot of like the same thoughts all over again rumination and um seeing many restrictions seeing many many obstacles to given to this connection to be given to this connection again i hope it makes sense but i just try to put uh, how i feel into words like looking at this but uh, there is a lot of love still here there is a lot of um deep soul connection here undeniable soul connection with the six of cups opening the new spread it's just the future is almost like I don't see much hope because of the circumstances or maybe because of my own um, indecisiveness or uh, not being ready to give to this again. Let's look at your <laughs> Yeah, yep. Yes, it's almost like, you see, torn energy being torn it's like one um my f one of my foot is out of the situation is already and another foot is in and i'm kind of happy for this connection i'm happy that we we are both healed we have some sort of communication here and uh we can express our love and attraction towards each other but uh i'm already out <laughs> I hope it makes sense. We've got this emotional withdrawal cup, uh, cup card, and it's the Eight of Cups energy, very similar. It's about leaving everything that you have invested, all of the emotions, all of the time, all of the hopes behind, and just moving forward, knowing that for now you just have to pull back. You have to go your separate way. You have to trust life and destiny and just almost like distract yourself for a second I'm feeling the disconnection that's what you both or at least you have been trying to do in this connection get detached become more clear in your mind and in your heart more objective about what's happening here in reality but at the same time there is so much gratitude here about um, just having this person in your life uh, hearing from them maybe being in a communication or some sort of interaction you've got this card blessed yeah i feel like you you still both have a lot of gratitude for each other and for how much you have grown in this connection how healing it was how unusual it was <laughs> like you've never experienced anything else before anything similar to this before yeah anything else like this we also got this card individuality yeah i feel like you're both very interesting people with interesting views um maybe interests in life and outlook on life vision and it's been nice to to meet someone just like you who sees the world in the same way who thinks in the same way feels in the same way has the same emotional reactions to things which is very rare to come by i feel like for the both of you yeah very interesting people the two of you and then we've got this card getting to know each other and it says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens you see it's almost like there is either pride or hurt that's getting in the way of you opening up to the situation of you trusting in the situation of you um becoming vulnerable here and giving to this again because we also got this card don't let pride get in the way for moon and leo yeah that's what's happening here 
it's either something like you have hurt me in the past and I won't let that happen again, so I'm completely closed from you, I have very thick boundaries, don't you dare cross them, or it's, um, it's just you are not ready to, to open up to them particularly for some reason to this person you are dealing with. But I do see that th there is going to be some um, conversations, some really deep conversations, um, some revelations and just, yeah, opening your hearts, regardless of whether you are uh, hopeful about the future or not, whether there are restrictions or something like that, it's almost like y you are both happy to see each other in your lives, both, gra both are very grateful for each other. And uh, even if you end up being friends or just people who care about each other, that's going to be enough. This is so interesting. By one, let me know what's going on because I don't feel any like um, mean energy or cheating or toxicity here. It's just. Uh, there is a lot of gratitude here, but at the same time, there is a little tiny bit of disappointment and um, and uh, fear to open up again in regards to the future. Like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't for some reason. That's what keeps coming back to me. I keep hearing, I shouldn't, I shouldn't with the eight of swords. No. But there was a lot of healing that took place at the same time still. Trust, maybe trust, that's what's kind of limping, that's what's not, um, there is not enough trust here, maybe. But there is a lot of love, mutual love. So, I think this is all ahead for you, Pal One. I hope this gave you at least some clarity, I hope this answered some of your questions, and I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Hello my beautiful pile number two or everyone who chose clear quartz. Let's see what is the what is next in this connection. We are opening the region with the lovers. Hotiness. Two of Pentacles. Prison. Two of Cups. And room. Oh my gosh. Pile two. Um, there is a lot of attraction here. There is a lot of passion here. Um, this spark and sexual pull with this lover's energy and haughtiness. It's almost like you both really wanted each other. In the past, especially maybe when you met or maybe as your relationship, this connection was progressing. There is just this. Uh, not being able to get satiated with each other, to get enough of each other. This combination for me is like, I'm so attracted to you, I can't keep my hands off of you. And uh, But at the same time, there is this little tiny bit of pride and almost like, um, how do I explain it? It, it could be that m both of you were more um, uh, seeing this connection more on a more superficial level. That's what it feels to me like. It's all about good times, it's all about good physical connection and passion and it's, yeah, it feels very intense but at the same time, like both of you couldn't really admit to yourself that you got really carried away in this whirlwind of emotions and passion and uh, yeah I feel like you're two very similar people very similar personalities and it's almost like there is a clash you, you get really attracted to each other really strongly but then uh, it's like the, the, the mirror for some reason I'm, I'm feeling like it's a mirror for you too how do I explain it um, 
you don't really give in easily, that's what I'm feeling. You don't, uh, maybe it's a compromise situation, hardship with compromise, or um, you're just softening yourself up for the other person. It's, it's a little bit like a clash. Like, and that's where the passion is coming from as well. So I can't even, I don't even know it's good, if it's good or bad. It's like you're fuel, fueling this passion with um, being so similar and have equally strong desire for each other. But then nobody wants to give in. How do I even... Um, I think you know what I mean. If it's your pile. With this haughtiness, it's just like... It could be that... Uh, it's hard for you both to admit how much you are into each other, how much you uh, admire the other person. With this lovers, it, it feels like a huge seduction. It feels like a huge temptation for you both. This is not devil energy. That I would describe a devil energy like that, but it's very close with this combination of haughtiness and lovers. Just uh, a lot of passion. Let's just leave it at that. That's the past of this connection. What's going on currently with this Two of Pentacles and Prison? I feel a little bit of indecision here. It's either it's hard for you both to find balance in this connection, to find some sort of equilibrium, because uh, there is this juggling back and forth, back and forth. There is a lot of duality overall in this connection for some reason. Maybe some of you are Gemini or have really strong Gemini. Maybe even both of you. But it's just, it feels like going back and forth, changing your decision, then going back to the previous decision, then just juggling the responsibility, not being able to focus on something, on just one thing and put all of your energy into that one thing. And practicalities of life are also in the way I'm, fe I'm feeling for this connection. Uh, it's almost like you are restricted to to make the choice, maybe, or to focus on only one thing because of your responsibilities, whatever it is you're doing in life, the obstacles between you two. It feels like something is re restrictive here, and there is duality. I'm not sure what, what, it, what it is. It could be that one of you is... is um, it will only resonate with a few of you, of course. One of you could be taken in another relationship so they fluctuate <laughs> they go back and forth between one person another person and you that could be the the situation here or it could be their job and you it could be your job and them you see the duality here almost like indecision and not being able to find balance not being able to make a final definite decision and stick to it for some reason it could be that both of you um, pull back from this connection and then go back in after some time passes and then something happens and you both pull back and it's just a lot of duality i don't know very strong gemini energy it's like uh, Almost like waiting the options and um, should I, should I not? Should I do it? Should I not? <laughs> indecision here, indecision. And it feels like a mental prison. It feels like something that keeps you stuck and confused. That's what's happening here. Trying to find balance, trying to feel whole, but at the same time you're, you are torn. It could be one of both of you in this situation, being torn. But, I do see that there is going to be a union here. Uh, I can't lie, we've got two of cups and room. There is a partnership ahead for the both of you. If you are currently not in a serious relationship, you are headed there. Two of cups is the energy of two people looking in the same direction, being in this beautiful, committed, serious union. And it feels very um, comfortable. It feels like it's your... It's going to be your safe space, your comfort zone, your security, 
It could be that you both move in together with this room. I'm getting, I'm feeling that very strongly. Yeah, moving in together. Maybe some of you are already at the stage where you will, you'll be buying some sort of property together, like buying a house or something like that with this room and two of cups. It's just, it feels like living together, being together in a committed, serious relationship, which was not quite present in the past because we have passion we have a lot of attraction with these lovers but you both were kind of uh, proud or maybe immature or just i'm so sorry but i have to be honest a little bit too full of yourself and like let's see who's stronger let's see who is uh who, who is like more more handsome or beautiful who can get more um uh, i don't know it could be just like a ego um, power struggle that's what I'm feeling but it's all because there is such a strong at attraction between you two such a strong pull passion and maybe that's something that made you feel confused and stuck this weird dynamic and then responsibilities and practicalities of your life gotten away with this two of pentacles but I do see things getting more peaceful becoming more stable more sure more secure <laughs> more sure Okay, that will be my own expression. You will both be sure that you are supposed to be with each other. You are supposed to uh, support each other. Um, you will be able to rely on each other. Two of cups. It's uh, when two people come together and they perfectly complement each other. Um, uh, what, the, what one of them lacks, another one has. Almost like that yin-yan energy. And in this combination, it, it feels very homey to me. I don't know why. Are you guys moving in together? Are you planning that at least? Because that's what I see. That's what I see for you too. It could be just some cozy time together. Maybe like introducing your families to each other. Something like that. But I do see somehow like fourth house, cancer energy. Like homely family situation connected to your love like it's two of cups and the room fourth house it does feel like living together looking at the current energy that what is um, very likely to happen here let's look at your oracle cards family family what's going up what's going on with the family here family stuff is very strong in this connection family issues family dynamics maybe the family of one of you uh, one of i can't speak mercury retrograde <laughs> okay focus english let's go someone here has a family that is that could be influencing them and consequently this connection that could be the situation here what i also see is that one of you has kind of um, closed your heart to another and I feel like it could be a feminine in this connection with this high priestess of air it's almost like I'm done with this I'm done with this indecision I'm done with this dynamic it's pointless it's just um, maybe you had high hopes for this connection and they never really came to reality they never were delivered like the promises that were given to you whenever delivered and it's just like that's it very similar energy to the queen of swords cutting off the bullshit i'm done with like hoping for things that may never come true i'm done with believing in in maybe like fantasies that's it we need to get real with this high priestess of air yeah very kind of cold um not that you're cold-hearted but you had to at some point just become um, a bit more logical a bit more rational about this whole situation and think about it there is a lot of thinking here like even philosophical thoughts what would have happened if um, we went this route what have, would have happened if i made this decision a lot of thinking i feel like that's what's been happening to the both of you ruminating about this connection, thinking about it, being very much in your head about this whole situation. 
And then they've got this card, Choose Wisely. Again, it's almost like there is this inability to choose. That's what I've been feeling all along with these two of pentacles. Indecision. Somehow, yes, you have your options. You have your... Um, mm, the paths you could follow in this connection. But it's almost like neither of them are completely satisfying. I don't know how to explain this. It's like juggling two things, trying to wait out which one would be the best decision and like seeing w what do I truly want, what are my priorities, what are my values, what what would resonate with my standards and um, yeah, trying to make a wise choice. That's what's happening here. Trying to focus on what you really want, which is this love, this commitment, this uh, happy, comfortable, secure stable situation with them or with anyone else for that matter just commitment that's what's important here because the lovers yes there is love there is uh, attraction but it's more like seduction and temptation it's more like uh, a bit more superficial fiery whether the two of cups it's just soul to soul bond you see Healing family issues, that's what I was talking about. It says your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Something about family is coming through very strongly. And what's more, then we've got full moon in cancer. And it says a personal issue reaches resolution. Double, triple confirmation that family is somehow could be involved here. Or maybe one of you is uh, has a family, another family. Maybe they're married. Maybe they leave their parents and it's not practical, it's difficult to, to continue this relationship while, you know. <laughs> so something about family has to be solved here. That's the only obstacle, I feel like. And um, all of that indecision, all of that juggling, the practicalities, it was somehow uh, linked to this family situation, cancer stuff, fourth house stuff, if you know astrology, fourth house is all about your origin of living, is your home, is your hometown, your family, your parents, your siblings, everything homely. That's th th what's going on here. <laughs> but I do see love in the future for you. I see you two together, regardless of what's going on. I see you being uh, cozy, happy, and safe. It's like a secure, stable partnership here. Two people looking in the same direction with the same goals, the same vision. The, the Two of Cups in this deck is just so beautiful. I love it so much. Like the stars and um, them, the, the couple sending out their cups into the skies, into the universe, like the intentions and wishes. So beautiful. I hope you, you can see it. <laughs> yeah, probably you don't, because it's so dark. Mm. So yes, I see it. I see union here, regardless of what's going on. Let's see the bottom of your deck to see, to get a bit more information. Nine of Cups. Yes, you make each other really happy. Whatever is happening, whoever family gets in the way, Whatever living circumstances or practicalities of life um, try to separate you, you make each other really happy. There is a huge uh, smile uh, uh, on both of your faces when you see each other, when you interact, when you think about each other. A lot of laughter, a lot of smiling, happy feelings. It's like total emotional fulfillment and a wish fulfillment. That what it's going to be if you get together for the both of you a wish being fulfilled so yeah um this is all i had for you pile too i hope it gave you some clarity i hope it has resonated with you and i wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others and i will see you in my next video bye bye hello my beautiful pile number three or everyone who chose lazarus stone Let's see what's next in your connection with your person. 
We are opening the reading with the judgment. Wedding. The chariot. Old woman. Queen of Cups. And gift. Oh my gosh. You guys. I love this. I love this energy. This is so nice. Two major arcana already. I only use three cards. I'm very minimalistic in my readings, but we already have two major arcana out of three cards that I pulled out of 78 cards. Insanity. This feels like a very serious, significant connection in your life. Um, this is this will only resonate with one or two of you, but I do feel like are you guys married? <laughs> This is this could be reading for some of you who already married or like who has been who are maybe engaged or we've got this judgment card and wedding. It's just it feels much more to me than just dating. That's just a ca casual casual connection or um, passionate fling. It feels like something more deep, something more committed and oh, karmic, past life. It does feel like something serious. I feel like you both have realized as soon as you met, there was some sort of destined um, circumstances or just the feeling that it was supposed to be in your life, this connection. It feels very uplifting. It feels like it's reminding you of where you have to be, what you have to do in life. And you both felt like there is a huge potential for you to, to end up as a family, that you belong together, that the other person is just... It's a huge soul growth, this connection for you two. Huge spiritual growth, um, personal growth, on all levels, just growing together. And I do see a lot of commitment here. With this wedding, it's almost like maybe you, you immediately started planning um, getting married, moving in together, having a family, children, this kind of stuff. Just knowing that you belong together, that you are supposed to be together. Judgment and wedding is just like, this is it. <laughs> I've never felt like this before, this is it. Just knowing. It's almost like everything in you just became turned upside down and at the same time put into places. I don't know if it makes sense, but this is how I'm feeling, like a revision of your internal world, your patterns, your the way you go about doing relationships. It feels like a huge upheaval, a new, a fresh, something very new and that you have never been through before. And it usually happens when you meet the one. It, mm, this strongly feels like the one for me. <laughs> it does. It's just... There is this desire to move forward, to change, to grow. It's There is no ego here in this connection. Because what's happening currently, we've got the chariot and old woman. Someone here really wants to to take the lead. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm feeling that one of you is a little bit more reserved, a little bit more um, peaceful, calm, um, rational and wise and very cautious. And another one is just like, uh, let's go, let's do it. Like, take the, they want to take the lead, they want to uh, be in control. And there is this balance, there is this really nice balance between the two of you. And a lot of maturity. It's almost like you have both uh, been through a lot in life. Maybe various horrible connections, relationships, and you've learned a lot from them. You, you have realized what you want, and now that what you want has come towards you, and you're ready to, to act on it. With this chariot, it's almost like I'm ready to move. Maybe for some of you travel, because the chariot often indicates traveling to another person. I'm ready to take... Uh, the sleep of faith 
Yes, impulse, strong impulse to to move forward, to improve this connection, to make it stronger, to to break through to each other. Mm. And it's not like um, childlike or um, immature uh, impulse that is only ruled by hormones or passion. In this combination, old woman and chariot, it does feel to me like a very weighted, um, mature, thought through decision to, to, to be together, to move towards each other to grow this relationship, to grow the trust between you two. Yes, a lot of... I don't know what happened recently between the two of you, but it feels like... Re uh, rebooting. <laughs> it feels like... Re uh, not a reconciliation, but... up, Leveling up. Yes, that's the word, leveling up. Of this connection of you separately in your life, it feels like a huge leveling up. You are ready for more now. That's what it is. You are ready for more. <laughs> and we've got beautiful prospects for the future here with this Queen of Cups. Oh, that's such a wonderful energy. Queen of Cups and gift. This love, it feels like a blessing for you both. Especially, it's almost like the woman in this connection feels so cherished, so loved, so um, supported, taken care of. Because... Queen of Cups is the energy of a, a, first of all, Cancer as a horoscope sign, but a mother, a wife, um, just this emotional, feminine, intuitive nature. And with this combination gift, it's almost like you're finally, especially a woman who's watching me, if you're a woman, you are about to get all of that, that nourishment, that love, that understanding, just being cherished, being valued by the man who is with you or your counterpart, whatever gender they are. I don't want to be um, too specific here. Yes, just feeling valued, feeling like you are someone's... Uh, you're special for someone. Finally, someone recognizing your emotions, recognizing your beautiful soul, your, um, your big, huge, loving heart with this Queen of Cups. is just so much love here so beautiful almost like someone treasuring your emotions your internal world and that's what's in store for this connection unconditional love that's the queen of cups is always the energy of unconditional love for me beautiful beautiful energy i have nothing to say really here anymore let's look at your oracle cards mm. And I see why it feels so precious, it feels so beautiful. Look at that, I'm just gonna start right here, even though it's not the first card, but it just jumped at me. Past life relationship. That's what it is, that's what I was feeling. This... Mm, that feeling like everything in your soul, all of the experiences, all of your emotions, your internal world, has been turned upside down, but at the same time put into place. I don't know why this image, this feeling, I feel so strongly. And I guess that's how you feel when you meet someone from your past life. Yeah, they turn your life around, influence you immensely, and recognition. And there is this message, you have known each other before. This is why it feels so intense. This is why there is so much determination. It's like, yes, you are the one for me. Regardless of what happened, what we have both been through, I have known you. I remember you. So beautiful. And the Queen of Cups is also the energy of the soul, of uh, our past life memories and experiences, emotional imprint on our soul. So beautiful. Ooh. We've got this card light as well. Very similar to the sun uh, in traditional tarot. This connection feels like the, the guiding light for the two of you. A lot of inspiration comes from it, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy. And it's almost like it's, uh, it gives you energy, it gives you life. I feel like it's the spotlight for the two of you. Like it, somehow it's more important than anything else in, in, the, two of, in the life of the two of you. 
Yeah. So beautiful. Then we have got this card, why? Again, maybe you had questions. Uh, why do I feel this way? Why can't I let go of this person, maybe? Or why this connection is like touching me so deeply? Um, why am I changing my life for this person? Things like that. But then I feel like the, the fact that it's a past life connection, that's, that would be the answer. I feel like you both have been looking for answers, trying to just get some understanding of why things have been the way they've been between you two. Because this is so powerful. This is so powerful. Also, we've got this card chaos. Again, that, that, that feeling I was getting that something has changed. Your life started to change drastically as soon as you met. Maybe it did feel uncomfortable and disturbing and like, well, I can't catch up. It feels chaotic. Um, I don't know where my life is taking me. Should I trust this? Should I not? It's just because of the intensity of this connection. And most of these cards, well, judgment, the chariot, it feels, the energy is very radical. It's, it feels like a big shift and there's a lot of movement, a lot of motion here. It could be like physical distance also that happened between the two of you. It will resonate with some, with only a few people. But it could have been that it felt chaotic to you, so you got confused or maybe scared or just like where are we headed? It just feels so intense and I don't know if it's a good idea. But then I love this person so much, they move my soul, they move my heart. Mm. So beautiful. And then we've got this card, Fixed Moon, Hold Your Vision. Yeah, I feel like many of you get shaky, like you don't feel as stable. Um, because this is such an intense connection, maybe memories come up, like nostalgia, nostalgic energy. And an advice for you here would be to, how would you imagine your life to be with this person? What would you want it to be? How do you see it? Um, what do you do together? How do they make you feel? Especially with this Queen of Cups, there is so much emotional fulfillment, there is so much nourishment, care, support, and this combination, the Queen of Cups and gift. It does feel like the future for the two of you holds a lot of love. And um, maybe it's important for you to hold on to, to positive, to, to positive stuff, to your um, ideal goal in this connection without letting your fears and confusion get in the way of getting to this beautiful place. I just love this energy so much. Maybe because I'm Cancer and uh, yeah, I'm like a fourth house stellium, so very similar. And the chariot is also cancer energy. Mm, beautiful. So beautiful. Yes, just knowing that you've got this beautiful blessing, this beautiful gift of this love, and you totally deserve it, and the other person is, sees you as someone way too valuable to lose. With this Queen of Cups and gift. Yeah. Wonderful energy, wonderful. So, <laughs> I hope this reading gave you some clarity, Pile 3. I absolutely loved it. Thank you so much for sharing your energy with me. It's my honor. And um, I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.